So in this lesson, we're going to set up all of the routes that we're going to need for our Express.js blogging application, to register users and to let users log in, and we'll also create the routes for viewing a list of blog posts, an individual blog post, and also for creating a blog post for those logged in users. So with the Express Generator, it automatically creates a user's root file for us. And this is where we'll put all of our login and registration routes. So first of all, let's create the login routes. So when a reuser requests the login page, we'll simply render a template called login and display any flash error messages. When a user fills in the login form, they'll want to post that data to Express in order to check the username and password. So when the user does submit the form, we'll get Passport to authenticate them and redirect them back to the login route if the username and password doesn't match anything in the database. But if it does, we'll redirect them to a new route called Create Post which is the route we'll be using for users to create new blog posts and enter them into the database. So let's create the routes for when someone wants to register as a new user. So when a user is requesting the registration page, we're simply going to render the register template and pass any error or success messages that have been stored within request.flash. And when a user completes the form that's on the registration page, we want to insert their username and password into the database. So with the post registration route, we're simply going to grab the username and password out of the request.body and insert that username and password directly into the users collection of our MongoDB database. And if all goes well, we'll let the user know with a success flash message and redirect them back to the registration page. And any errors will be caught informing the user what's happened. So that's it for our login and registration routes. Let's create another file that will hold all of our routes relating to getting and showing blog posts. So let's first of all create a couple of routes for handling the creation of new blog posts. So whilst the create post form route is fairly straightforward in just rendering the template again, the post route actually takes the title and content from the request body and also grabs the username from the request object, generates the current date and inserts that all as a document into the MongoDB database. And in order to get the username from the request session, I'll actually make a change in the way that Passport is going to serialize and deserialize the data into that session. So instead of just serializing the user ID, I'm actually going to create an entire object that just has the ID and username of the user, and we'll return that entire object back when Passport deserializes the data. So let's create the final routes which will be used to display all blog posts or a specific blog post by ID. So getting all posts is fairly straightforward. We just run the find function on the posts collection, passing in an empty object, and the results are converted to an array and then passed to the posts template to be rendered. To view a specific post, we'll access it by a path parameter which specifies its object ID in the database. So don't forget when you're accessing a document within MongoDB via its actual underscore ID value, we need to convert any string that we've got into an object ID so that the document is actually found. 
And in this particular route, once we've retrieved our post, we'll just render another template called post and pass it the data that's been returned from the database. So one last thing before we finish this lesson, we're actually going to ensure that the create post route is only accessible once the user is authenticated. And I've just wrapped this inside of a function so that we could reuse it on any other routes should we need it in the future. So that's pretty much all of our routes set up. In the next lesson, we'll actually go about creating the template for these routes, and we should then be able to start adding some data into the collections and viewing it on the view post routes.